how is everybody? I hope everybody is keeping well. So we are going to look at your love life for the next three months. Um, so if you are dealing with a person, we will look at that person as well. So uh, we will look at the current energy, any challenges in your love life at this time. We will look at the past. We will look at the person on your mind, their current thoughts about you, uh, their feelings for you. And then we will look at your next three months and see what is likely to happen between you and this person. And we'll see just generally what sort of uh, energy you and this person are in. Okay, so let's see. The overall energy for your next three months is uh, the Six of Pentacles, Justice. Okay, both those cards are indicating some sort of balance uh, coming into a connection here. Let's see. Knight of Swords. Crossed with the Three of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. Ace of Cups. Look at that. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. Ten of Cups in your position. Eight of Cups. Ten of Pentacles, Temperance, Knave of Pentacles. Right, I need to clarify one card. Okay, right. So what I'm seeing here is uh, the current energy is the Knight of Swords. So you are either communicating with someone uh, or dealing with someone where the communication is a little bit sporadic or inconsistent. If you are in no contact with someone, uh, it could be indicating that there's going to be contact within the next month or so. Um, I have the Eight of Wands even in your next month position indicating some sort of communication. So let me see. Oh yeah, I'm going to take some of these as well before I start. Get maybe out of the way. Yeah, this person definitely wants to communicate. Uh, there could have been like, uh, there could be like something that you guys need to like thrash out or something. Um, yeah, let me see. Wow, okay, this person's like crazy in love with you. Crazy in love with you. I just got the Flamingos Soulmates card coming out and this is a big ass deck. Uh, and Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups uh, in thoughts and feelings here, amazing. Look, the heart just came out. This is unbelievable. This person is crazy in love with you. So what's going on here? You look like you're confused about how this person is uh, viewing you or uh, this connection perhaps. Uh, and this person, that's your kind of like primary energy you're trying to like work out, you know. It looks like whether this person's like maybe valuing you or something to do with, maybe they've kept you in the dark about their feelings as well. Um, now this person's, uh, primary sort of like thing is uh, to communicate 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 look we even got the letter coming out so communicate but it looks like it is difficult in some sort of way uh but here we go look knight of swords i would expect a message from this person ace of rods yeah this person's coming in definitely lots of motivation here um it's like a fire being lit underneath this person so you're communicating with someone here and it is going to be uh, very passionate very um motivated you're talking to someone or you're about to be anyway. The challenge uh, in this connection seems to be that this must be someone, you know, obviously um, significant with these love cards coming out. Um, but it looks like maybe things did not move to a more practical realm. It kind of stayed maybe in emotions or um, like the communication may be a bit inconsistent. Like this person has feelings for you, but I don't think they've told you. Temperance. I think that you guys were sort of on different pages at one point um on what this relationship was like maybe going towards and uh, maybe you guys did not have that conversation either and um, but there is this uh, sense that uh, the feelings were definitely there but th they were not grounded um in any sort of way so in the past we have the eight of pentacles somebody could have been spying just because i know it's not a spying card but in this particular deck there is a picture of someone spying so um there could be a workplace connection with that eight of pentacles uh, but it does look like the focus was you know on this connection Knight of rods yeah look there's the desire the passion so we have this like fiery passionate like uh, super uh, hot intense sort of connection but also the, like really intense feelings so like equal uh, passion and feelings all swirling around and it feels great but where is the um where's the swords and where's the pentacles like where's this like truth and where is this grounded energy that you guys um are requiring for this relationship 
So uh, this person thinks very highly of you. This person um, views you as the person who has their heart. Um, they're viewing you as a soulmate. Uh, they want to be in union with you. There's attraction here. Um, this person believes that you guys have long-term potential, that you are one of a kind. Six of Pentacles. And it looks like this person is, see your overall energy is the Six of Pentacles. Uh, so this person, again, look, the message, the Page of Rods. So this person's thinking about messaging you. Uh, it could be to balance something out with you and um, that sort of thing okay give to you it could be something that this person um feels like they need to do because they want a new beginning so if you haven't heard from this person this person wants a new beginning with you uh, if this is someone that you are currently dating but things have not moved to that you know practical realm yet uh, this person is thinking very much about their feelings for you and um, there's a lot of feelings here a lot of desire a lot of passion and this person is uh, perhaps ready to sort of contribute to that uh, missing area in a way they weren't in the past this is what they're thinking about anyway whether they do that or not is another thing but let's see i do see action Ooh, one more second i think that fell on the floor Hello. that was uh, yeah this person is um a wee bit unsure of your feelings so um maybe there is a need for clarity on both sides here and um, i pause it because there was one time um, I, I used to just like stretch and grab the cards that go flying all over the place they shoot sometimes um and i fell off the chair <laughs> and then i was kind of like um do i like continue or do i just like scrap the reading and you know i uh it got the better of me i didn't want i didn't want to upload it after i didn't want to be embarrassed so um so now i just pause it <laughs> so let's see your next three months is communication you are getting some sort of message from this person and um, i would say it's even sooner so uh you're talking to this person now or you're about to be imminently um and you will continue to do so for the next three months the emperor and the Knight of Pentacles. So it does look like this person is stepping up in some sort of way and taking responsibility and is showing up in a more grounded and practical way, um, just like you were maybe hoping for. Nice. You're very, very happy. It seems like things are going well. And then I am seeing, you see, I seen this earlier. There's a blip. I do see a blip showing up in the future here. This person is showing up very passionate, uh, very sort of motivated towards you. Um, they are um, going to be like almost chasing in a sense, not chasing, but like really putting in the effort, really stepping up, really trying to prove themselves. Um, and after about two months or so, um, when you're feeling very happy about this, I do see this person suddenly starting to, um, you know, like withdraw. Uh, communication becomes a little bit sporadic again, uh, just like it did in the past. Yeah, and um, there's going to be a, a a blip for sure um, after a couple of months. So, um, unfortunately, um, it is what I am seeing. You're hoping for some sort of commitment here um, and you're fearing that you may have to wait a long time or that this is going to drag out any longer than it already has. Um, you know, I don't see a full on disconnect between you and this person. Okay, I see this person uh, showing up. It looks like someone from your past, uh, someone where there was an intense connection. This person is desperate to talk to you. Uh, they do have very, very strong feelings and passion and desire for you. Uh, they are going to make some sort of promise to you and they will keep it for about a month or two, maybe uh, max. And then all of a sudden you see this person withdrawing again and then showing up in a smaller energy than they were in before. I'm going to see if I can find out uh, why. Right, okay, so let me see. See, it's just showing me this sort of maybe uh, going around in cycles. So this may have happened a couple of times. And I don't really understand why, if this uh, person is so crazy in love with you, why they're uh, coming in so hot and cold. Okay, so why is this person showing hot and cold with you? What's going on here for why, for why? Constructing a message. Like how many times? This person is literally about to hit you up. Ace of Cups, now come on. That's crazy, isn't it? Oh my God. Forbidden fruit. Okay, so for some of you, there could be, you know, a forbidden element uh, to this connection and protection. Okay, so if there's any sort of like third parties or anything like that, uh, this person could be protecting their, uh, you know, position and uh, there could be an element of uh, forbidden fruit here. But this person's about to message you. Okay, 
So they're giving you less because they're protecting something else or they feel like your relationship is maybe taboo in some sort of way. Very strange. Chemistry, courage. Courage is coming in under the Ace of Cups and I have Leap under, under this deck. Ugh, if I could speak. Mirroring and spiritual connection. So uh, this does look like it is a, a very intense connection between you and this person. Uh, there could be an element of uh, you know, forbidden fruit, like I said, but the chemistry is undeniable. Uh, this person is going to uh, take some sort of leap. Uh, they have some sort of courage, apparently now in this current energy. Um, you both could be mirroring each other. Maybe you're both ignoring each other, or uh, maybe you're both being coy with each other if you are uh, dating. Let's see stars i mean come on this is crazy now for some of you you feel like there is uh, things within this connection that are working against you but you feel like if you kind of push forward with this connection that um it's worth it because you feel like this is uh, an intense sort of spiritual connection uh, very very different from any other connection you've ever had before for some of you you could live at a distance uh, from this person or this person or you could travel a lot but even with the birds it's a card of communication as well so uh, all over this reading this person keeps saying they're going to reach out to you the only thing is um i do see this sort of like reaching out and all but and your energy looks great for the next few months Um, what i'm seeing then after that is um like a bit of a, a hiccup where this person starts to pull back and emotional disconnect again um and kind of starts showing up a little bit less um, so uh, all the motivation is there at the beginning and then it sort of uh, tapers off a bit and then I think it cycles back around so I don't think this is the first time you and this person have found yourself in this cycle um, it looks like this person is uh, protecting something I don't know what that is what uh, are you protecting queen of rods the devil and death This person is like viewing you as some sort of temptation with that devil card. But there's like a temptation here that could like change everything for them. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune just came out. Uh, but still there's this feeling like you guys were, you know, thrown in each other's paths for a reason. Uh, okay, so yes, that is what I'm seeing. Um, I don't see like, you know, you guys breaking up or falling out or anything in the future it just looks like things go really really good and then uh, this person kind of drops the ball a little bit but um it's still sort of there you know so that is what i'm seeing i hope that that has helped thank you very much and i hope you have a lovely day thank you Bye bye